It is the most endangered mammal in all of North America, but tomorrow that could change here in Colorado. Governor Hickenlooper will sign a law to reintroduce the black-footed ferret into the wild. 70s photojournalist Major King shows us what's at stake. Call it the ferret dance. I know they're really cute. <laughs> they're beautiful animals. They were a part of our native ecosystem. They're part of our natural heritage. Thought to be extinct in 1979, these members of the weasel family are now raised in captivity on this 40-acre facility in Larimer County. Blackfooted ferret recovery is a long, long haul. It's kind of like Humpty Dumpty falls off the, the wall. You don't put him back together immediately. There's only a couple hundred ferrets here and just a couple hundred more spread across eight states, Mexico and Canada. It's a tough world out there. Ferrets live almost exclusively on prairie dogs. Until now, Colorado required legislative approval for reintroduction of ferrets on locally owned public lands like Fort Collins Soapstone Prairie Natural Area. When we have ferrets on the land, we know that we've got land that's in good health. 20 to 40 are expected to be released here this September. This is the culmination of a lot of years of work. The nocturnal animals and their primary food source both are historically susceptible to non-native bubonic plague. A ferret can die from plague or it can simply starve to death because prairie dogs have been diminished because of plague. But with this new chance at a life in the wild, the black-footed ferret has reason to be happy for another chance at survival. But if you see a ferret, count yourself as one of the lucky few. In Fort Collins, Major King, 7 News. So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service hopes to establish 3,000 of the ferrets in the wild in order to delist the species as endangered. The Colorado Division of Parks and Wildlife is also testing a vaccine that fights bubonic plague in prairie dogs, the primary food source for the ferrets.